Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna compare and contrast these two awesome little micro planes. We're gonna compare the pros and cons, some similarities, all those sorts of things. If one is a better trainer than the other, in my opinion, and we're gonna get right down to it right now. The first question we're gonna ask, which one comes ready to fly? And as you can see with the radio in front of it, that is the Aeros Pioneer. When it comes to gyro system, both planes come with gyro systems with two different settings. Both have a setting that's similar to AS3X. However, with the Aeros Pioneer, its version of the safe, uh, it's a lot less muted than it is with safe. And I think there are pros and cons with that. Overall, for me personally, I prefer the gyro system that comes in the Aeros Pioneer. That's because it is a lot less muted. I can still have that uh, stability. However, it doesn't make it so it takes me 40 years to turn the thing around. So that's why for me, that gets the nod. The question I get asked the most about both of these planes is which one is the better trainer? For me, the Aeros Pioneer is the better trainer in most circumstances because it comes with the battery, comes with the radio. It's designed to, to train people how to fly. It's very durable. It's still four channel. And in my opinion, the gyro will not teach you bad habits like safe can. Safe is still great. It's an excellent tool. But for me, for a trainer plane, the Aeros Pioneer is the winner. When it comes to landing gear, we ask ourselves which one is more sturdy and which one has the bigger, more durable tires. And in this category, the UMX Turbo Timber wins. Aeros Pioneer, still no slouch, but I got to give the nod to the UMX Turbo Timber. The next category is durability. Both of my planes have held up very well, so I will say that I do believe that the Aeros Pioneer is the more durable plane because the foam is just thicker. Now the cells are a little fatter, but if I were to crash either one into the ground nose first or something along those lines, my prediction would be the Aeros Pioneer would hold up much, much better. You can also see with the tail wheel, let's zoom in there. You can also see there with the tail wheel that the setup there is a little bit more beefy on the Aeros Pioneer. But of course, these planes are designed to fly, not crash. So take the durability factor as you wish. When it comes to flight time, the Aeros Pioneer wins. A lot of that may have to do with the efficiency of the two-bladed prop found on the Aeros Pioneer versus the three-bladed prop on the UMX Turbo Timber. The next thing we're gonna talk about is their size. The UMX Turbo Timber has a longer fuselage and a wider wingspan. Here's another angle for another size comparison as we discuss the fact that they both come with a 2S brushless power system. Both of these have top feeder battery bays, which is awesome. The Aeros Pioneer comes with a plug for a red JST. So in theory, you've got some battery flexibility, but in reality, there is a very small slot where the battery that it comes with fits. So for myself, I just bought more batteries like the stock pack because that takes away your worry about center of gravity which is another thing that makes it a good trainer plane in my opinion now when you've got the umx turbo timber here it's wide open gives you a little more flex some people like to fly with a little more nose heavy some people like to fly with a little more aft center of gravity depending on your flying style so i'm neutral on those features for both of these the next two things we're going to talk about are flaps and lights, and the UMX Turbo Timber has both. When it comes to being a trainer plane, I think having flaps is a bad thing because that's you're asking a complete noob to take on, tackle the complexity of using flaps, the mix, all that stuff. For this UMX Turbo Timber, it took me a while to get my flaps and elevator dialed in just how I like it. So expecting a complete noob to be able to do that is a bad idea. All right, you guys, as we wrap this up, I wanted to show you that both 
go back easily into their box for storage and transport to keep them safe. With all that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. Check the links in the description of this video to help support the channel if you got any value out of this video. And GB Linden, out.